What is going on, everybody? Or what's up, guys? This is Rise, I should say. Today, we've got a special video for you, and I am alongside Math Magic 10. Timmy, how is everything going with you? Uh, things are going well. Things are going well. Uh, you know, early afternoon on a Saturday. Happy to be here and do this video with you, Rise. Yeah, thanks for coming on, and I'm excited to go through um, the first Sylph Factions recap I've done here on YouTube. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Sylph Factions, I highly encourage you to check it out. The new season is starting in a couple weeks. So if you or some friends want to create your own team um, of battlers with different different leagues, Great League Specialist, Ultra League Specialist, Master League Specialist, and then four Field Specialists for, uh, for a condensed meta, you can join your team and go to sylph.com or sylph.gg, I believe and uh, join your faction. So um, Timmy is Mathmagic10. Go check him out as well, link the description. And you can, uh, you're can you gonna recognize a lot of these names if you're not familiar with the Mazer Gaming faction. You saw the the cool intro video, which was pretty lit. Shout out to uh, Lundberger or My PvP Academia as well. She's the one that created that intro video. And um, and yeah, let's, let's get into this. Uh, we're going to start off with TZ Spence. Some other names you're going to recognize here. Ali Lucky, Speediest Chief, Season 2 World Champ. Um, Dunebug, Season 3 Silf World Champ. Uh, myself, we've got Marto. Um, and uh, actually, I'm not sure Marto participated in this specific week. Uh, Panic as well, and uh, for the battles. So lots of amazing battlers on our team. And Timmy, um, TZ... What do you think about he's rocking an all shadow squad in this week against Verify yeah, 50 uh, Club? The, <laughs> yeah, the all shadow squad is definitely a scary thing, right? They pack in 20% more attack damage, but they also take 20% more damage uh, because of their defense drops uh, as a shadow. Um, but his opponent, Uber Judgment, let's see. <clears throat> uh, they're rocking a shadow Sableye, which is really interesting instead of the purified one. Um, and then, you know, you got the, 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 the top meta teams of Skarmory, Medi, Azu, Licky, and Stunfisk. So I'm guessing, yeah, so this is an open Great League match, right? There's not a specialized match. Mm -hmm. Um, and so far, it looks like the Swampert has some pretty good play against, like, the Skarmory and the Stunfisk. It's kind of even against the meta champ, and then if it can get shields down, it can also take out the Azu. Uh, but it does have to worry about the Lickitung, but even then, I think the Hydra Cannons is going to do enough damage on the Lickitung just to threaten at least a shield. So, for TZ, I think the Swampert is going to be a big player. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think Swampert on paper looks amazing, um, mm -hmm. and we'll see how this one plays out. Alright, Great League Specialist, first match underway, and I have seen these maths, so... I'll let everybody know there's going to be a bit of a surprise at some point oh. with some of these movesets. Okay. And okay. you might not expect it. Okay. So we've got okay. Shadow Zapdos against Azu. That's where you want to see it. Um, Very great lead. Yeah, you're going to outpace this thing, rocking Drill Peck Thunderbolt. But we know how mm -hmm. glassy Zapdos is. So unfortunately, TZ is going to have to shield here before he gets off a move. Nice. And we see the quick swap into Lickitung. Lickitung, mm -hmm. we know it's tanky. It's going to take this pretty well. Yeah. It was very nice that the Azu got a shield, and then oh, now he switches out, okay? So just doing enough damage here, and po possibly just farming down the Lickitung, and uh, threatening the Azumarill with the shield as well. Yeah, unfortunately that Azu's still pretty healthy, so I think mm -hmm. it'll definitely be able to tank a Rock Slide, and if it gets a farm down, could be a little bit tough to deal with. Nice timing there from TZ through after four counters, and... Uh, yeah, the rock slide coming yeah. through. Chips even gets to a cross chop as well, but this definitely won't KO. Right, but that was really good to deny the Azumarill the extra bubbles or the, the sneak in bubbles. And now here, potentially they can just shield and farm all the way down, but I don't know if that's the best play. Yeah, now he's down two <laughs> shields and there's a yeah, Medi in like, back. He doesn't want to... Okay, so this is really good. Mm. Like, you know, he didn't want to reveal the Swampert just yet, but here, at least he can grab the two shields and then get out. It is a Shadow uh, Swampert, so a Psychic would hurt it quite a bit. 
And then, right. uh oh, math. Oh my uh -oh. god. Is that, uh -oh. is that a muddy water swamper? <laughs> it's a water gun, muddy water swamper. And, no. Uh, oh no, yeah. Oh no, no is right. I know. Um, TZ forgot to TM his swamper. I think he had recently oh. built it. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Okay. And unfortunately, TZ loses game one because he didn't realize okay. he had a water gun, <laughs> muddy water swamper. And now okay. it's too late to change. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hypno, shout out Hypno to the Medicham. This is really good. And then comes in the Sableye. And oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it seems like a weird swap, right? You're swapping a fighter into a ghost, but. Very. Um, but the thing is. So it's it's Shadow Sableye, right? So he's probably thinking that the Shadow Sableye has Power Gem, and he didn't want the Zapdos to be on it. And but he's do... gonna have to spend the shield anyways. Machamp, just because the counters do so much, and they're hitting for only single resisted, um, it does right. win this two shield matchup, and his opponent knows it, so they're not gonna bother right. uh, expending that second shield. But now that they're gonna sense. get a nice so... farm with Medi. Yeah, but he does have two counters to Medi here right so he can either tank the ice punch mm. or the psychic and i would throw a move here yeah and then come in zapdos and finish up yeah, he's in a very good position right now gonna try and chip it the thing is the licky though if he lets this go the licky can can probably lick down mm -hmm. and shield the move okay well, he can get to two yeah get to two drill packs yeah drill packs not a if great move this? though i don't think it ko's mm. gets the shield it's another drill pick. At this range, it it might almost KO, and then he can confusion down. Oh, if that barely needs. not. Oh, it doesn't Come on. get there. Okay. And it has a body slam. And shield That's this, okay. knowing that this will probably do more than an ice punch or a psychic. Exactly. Yep. But this is uh, where no yeah. shadow ball and double elemental punch can really hurt you in matchups like this. Right. So he can throw either one. Um, they're both the same damage, non-stab against a neutral uh, Pokemon, right? But yeah, ooh. yeah, he knew yeah. the uh, the elemental punch went KO, so he's trying to get to two. And we're down 0-2. TZ oh. was trying to spice it up with the All Shadow Squad in our last mm -hmm. bout of uh, <laughs> of the cycle. Can he steal one? It's always huge math to to try and get one versus getting swept 03 because it's basically a one point differential versus a three point difference that's a huge swing exactly oh my so, let's see here okay no shield oh uh, my grab a, grab a shield here but that's fine you can farm down and potentially throw another hard hitting move yeah, yeah. we've seen this before it does like about half a little over half to the look it's right and then the smart thing here, yep, switching into Snorlax, nice. is because now your even shields and the Lickitung is a bit like, uh, or the Snorlax is a bit healthier than the Lickitung. Yeah, probably in like double superpower range. Yeah. But gonna bait with Body Slam, doesn't want to debuff himself, it appears. I don't think they, sh yeah. They don't shield, but that's okay. This is a funny matchup uh, to, uh, to Lick users. To Lickers, yeah. <laughs> okay, lick it down. Lick it down. Shout out Barto for the energy, and then he can get to two superpowers here, as opposed to if the Lickitung stayed in, he oh. probably just get to the Body Slam. Oh, yeah, I'm not okay, sure no why. Superpower. Why Body Slam here? Oh, that's things. Well, two Body Slam KOs, anyways. Right? But it, it allowed him to get Lickitung to get it off this move, so that not energy sure. kind of goes to waste. Yeah. Big Thunder Shock down. Oh, mm. banks the move. Oh, maybe try to catch the body slam. Okay, but I like I like banking. <clears throat> I like shadow claw down. Here. Nice. Oh, he's got this. Yeah, for sure. He just needs to grab the shield and then just drill peck. Gets the match. So now, right, we are one and two, which is way better than going yeah. zero and three. Yeah. One two. Uh, so we'll uh. Update the uh, score here, if mm -hmm. I can. Yeah.
It was funny, like text. early on, right? I said that I said that Swampert would be a big player for TZ, but apparently he's the wrong Swampert. So <laughs> yeah, he, he recognized that and just did not bring it back, uh, which is really funny. Okay. Yeah, able to save it with that uh, with that win in that last one. So uh, a nice one one two there from from TZ. I'm yeah. sure he's gonna be. Uh, Happy to at least escape with a win in the uh, All, right, all Shadow so, matchup. And now, now yeah, we're so on to up. Panic in Ultra League. Okay. Got it. So we've got... Uh, so let's see here. Uh, this right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Panic has very tanky Pokemon in Cresselia and Jellicent, right? Um, Talonflame, hard-hitting moves. Glaring Stunfisk. Uh, the Earthquake is a really big nuke, but it's also quite tanky as well. And the Swamper and the Muck, I get, and, and with the Talon Flame, right? They both, uh, they all three kind of hit pretty hard with their moves. Um, I'm gonna guess that the Muck is running Poison Jab and Acid Spray, right, for the defense drop. And then against Kylo's team, uh, let's see here. Ew. The Jellicent looks really strong, taking out the Swampert, the Machamp, the Crest, and the Talon Flame. Yeah, it really just has the uh, Mandibuzz to worry about. That's so uh, right. Jellicent and then, looks really strong. Yeah, and then if the Alolan Ninetales on Kylo's team is Powder Snow, then the Jellicent is very strong. So Panic should probably realize that after the first game if they bring in the Alolan Ninetales. But, um,. From my point of view, right, in strategy-wise, if Kylo knows that he has Powder Snow, then he's not going to bring it in the first game until he can see what moves that the Jellison has. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I so think, we'll um, I think, uh, the Mandibuzz as well looks kind of tough for Panic's team if it's Snarl. Because he doesn't yeah. have, like, a super hard answer for it. He doesn't have his own A9. But this is a good lead. Oh, and he's running Bubble. Oh, Bubble, okay. That's bubble good. Ice Beam. Okay, there's the Brave Bird. And so if Punch uh, this. Oh, got baited. That stinks. Ooh. That's bad. And if people watching this don't know, um, once you see your opponent's team and factions, you are allowed to TM your Pokemon's moves before the battle and adjust how you see fit. Mm -hmm. Oh, gonna try and catch a Brave Bird? Oh, that's a huge catch. Huge catch. Oh, my. Huge catch. In comes the Shadow okay. Swamp. This is perfect. Just gonna let it go, okay. Yeah, exactly. So, oh man, that's a fast Hydro Cannon. Um, and then come in with, uh, I'm guessing the Crest? Crest. If, uh, the scary yeah, thing though is if there's one. Mandibuzz in back, how do you deal with that now? If you get chipped right. away by this Swampert. Right, right, right. Uh, so they probably don't shield this and my best bet is they come in with the Talon Flame, farm up a little bit. The Talon's really low though. In. Yeah. There's the Mandy. Right, there's a Mandibuzz. Yikes. So grab shields, try to debuff them with the Moonblast. Yeah, Dark Pulse Mandy. Gonna so save the, the shields for Jelly, I guess. Yeah, so we saw the bubble on the Jellicent. Um, and... This isn't the worst position that Panic could be in. A CMP tie here would be huge. Okay, no CMP. No CMP. Okay, grab the Ice Beam here. Throw Just it. Sneaks in a bubble. Okay. That's actually pretty good too. Sneaking in the bubble is also pro um, a really good play. But yeah. For sure, he does not want to throw an Ice Beam into the Talonflame and waste the energy. As opposed to if they switch into Talonflame... Uh, Maybe like after this move here, we can sure. farm down. Had to risk it, yeah. Had to throw. Yeah. This won't quite KO. Throw. Oh man. Oh man. I don't. Any bubble? No. And then the cycle cuts won't. Be oh, able to, they uh, they went to the aerial ace. What? It. And now he's gonna cycle he cut go down. Ace. And he has no the move. No way. And he has the move. Oh my no. gosh. Why would he throw Aerial Ace? Oh my gosh. Because he thought that 
he thought Panic was gonna get to the move first, so he just settled for the aerial right. ace. I think you gotta build up the Dark Pulse and then catch to win that, but... Yeah, for sure. Okay, good lead again. Same lead. Confusion okay. Crest, Crest comes Confusion. in right away. Okay, so he could technically stay in. Um, the Stun Fist can handle the Talon Flame, the Crest can handle the Talon Flame, but he also knows that there's a Mandibuzz in the back. Yes, and that's why yeah. he doesn't come in with G-Fisk here. Exactly. Uh, so this is actually really good. Then you don't have to take a, a neutral moon blast on the Jellicent. You can take it on a Crest, who can handle it way better. Mm -hmm. um, attack fell, nice. Oh, and then the attack fall. <laughs> yeah, this Crest is confusion Crest, and then the attack fall. It's really bad for Uber Judge or uh, Kylo. For sure. Yeah, I would farm up to 100 energy here before throwing. Big over farm, going for the grass yeah. knot. I would mm -hmm. think it KOs from this low. It should. Oh, yeah. barely didn't. <laughs> one psycho cut. Oh, but he gets an he gets an extra psycho cut, so that's really good. Could have done uh, one more psycho cut there to avoid some free energy for the Talon, but right now Talon's getting a lot of farm. Yeah, Man. But I th I do like throwing the moon blast just to debuff it, uh, because if the Talon wants to, uh, ah oh, man, there's no debuffs here. Okay, this is fine. Right, let it go. Got a boosted Tal. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna probably oh, try and get man. the shield with the Bray Bird here. I would definitely grab the shield with the Bray Bird. Oh, you another have two, bait. So Jeez. Ah, oh, man. And then the Mandy, yeah. You know, so with I would have liked. Pulse, this is. I would have liked yeah. Panic grabbing the shield there. I think with the Ice mm -hmm. Beam before swapping out, mm -hmm. because yeah, G Fist down a shield. This is not comfortable for G Fisk. Right, because because Mandibus has Dark Pulse, this is actually a really close matchup. And because Mandibus has two shields, it's even a closer matchup for Mandibus. Uh, if, if there was no shields, like I think G Fisk still wins. But like here, Mandibus can just shield the two rock slides and, and be okay. Okay, finally gets a shield. But yeah, the Dark Pulses do about as much as the um as the rock slides and mm -hmm. the mud shots obviously aren't doing anything. Oh, so it's gonna go for a big farm here, I guess? Definitely, like, I would shield and farm all the way down. Throw two ice beams, like, uh, yes. so here, so throw the, throwing this ice beam, and then they are like, so panic is probably like three bubbles or two bubbles away from the next one. That farm was huge, yeah, because this dark pulse won't even KO. Exactly, and then this Ice Beam will KO. Even if this Dark Pulse KO'd, he can throw a Rock Slide with the uh, with the Stun Fist. And you have the timer. Yep. Timer. This is really good, uh, Man. really good battle for Panic. Open Ultra League battles, oh my gosh. So often, they come down to the timer. Mm -hmm. um, lots of decisions have to be made when, where you use your shield. There's gotta be dozens of charge moves in that game, and uh, yeah. And you gotta, you know, decide. we were in a crest mirror. Yeah. yeah, we were definitely in a crest mirror, and so having to uh, get the defense or the attack drop from the moon blast uh, certainly helped panic there. All right, game three, panic up 2 0. Bad lead goes oh, directly into muck. It's a snarl muck, so. Okay. This is uh, still not very good because your fast moves aren't doing anything. Even though you're only taking neutral damage, this damage still chunks. Okay, okay this is not bad. Um, throwing the two dark pulses. Uh, I probably go for the sludge wave because it does a little bit more, and they probably don't shield. For another dark pulse. Uh, I'm worried about the incinerate. Yeah. Okay, I guess the shield. This incinerate down though is scary. Oh, gets to, get another. to another one. Gets to another. Nice. That's huge. Yeah. So, so Talonflame has to shield us if they want to win switch. They do. All right. I think you so, sack the G-Fisk, to be honest. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The Machamp is still alive, and the G-Fisk is pretty much done here. Right? Uh, so here's a Flame Charge that you still live. Shield this one. And the Makes second sense. Flame Charge. Yeah. Just get rid of this thing with Rock Slide. Two, three. Okay, but this Rock Slide KOs, so that Incinerate will not count. And then he comes in with Crest. Oh, okay. This is still not bad, right? This is bad, yeah. Because 
Really? Yeah, because Mandibuzz lives two Moon Blasts. You need three Moon Blasts to KO. Yeah. Um. And you're gonna get outpaced uh, as well. How about the Moon Blast and the Grass Knot? Two Moon Blast Grass Knot might be enough, but you still got a very healthy Machamp in back. Um. I think. Yeah. I like. Man, yeah. I think Panic I like has to pull some yeah. shenanigans here to to get a win. Like, catch the Dark Pulse? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. his switch timer just came up, but couldn't quite switch in time. Yeah. He's over farming up a, little bit. a lot. Oh my god, yeah. this will be close. Okay, so let's see here. You Can he to catch? live three counters? One, oh. Two. Ooh. So Can close. Can he get to an Earthquake? I don't think so. I think the Machamp has extra energy. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, he's gonna farm down anyways. Yeah. Yeah, win con would have been to uh the catch. to catch on the G Fisk, but I'm pretty sure the Machamp had extra energy, so it wasn't like he was gonna throw right away. And uh panic goes two one there, so we're all tied up at three. Mm -hmm. And next up, we transition to the Master League with four of the bats. And uh, we'll get the team graphics up right here. So this is uh, so Open Master League, right? Level 50 Pokemon. Uh, so for the battles, running Sylveon, Garchomp, Gyarados, Excadrill, Mewtwo, and Metagross. So two steals. Mm. Gyarados is a semi-Dragon Breath user. And a Mewtwo and a Sylveon. And then her opponent, Pika Magic, is... Oh, a Glaceon. Interesting. Okay. Two Steels again, Excadrill and Dialga. And then two Water Types, Gyarados, Swampert, and a Togekiss. Uh, I'm surprised that they didn't run the Double Fairies. The, uh, what do you like here? The Gyarados looks pretty safe. Mewtwo is so good. Mewtwo looks extremely safe. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to use it as like a closer. The Metagross has like th two dominant matchups, two bad matchups. Uh, I guess three bad matchups against Swampert, Gary, Excadrill. Um, mm -hmm. So this is interesting. Garchomp has two things to really watch out for. It doesn't look like the best oh. matchup in the world for four of the battles. Um, yeah. I think the like Sylveon, Garchomp... Sylveon looks really solid as well. Yeah, but like the Garchomp like, you know, if that Dragon Breath Gyarados is there, right, then Garchomp is really only stuck with against Swampert. But if Swampert has Earthquake, then Garchomp is in big trouble. Uh, That's true. Yeah. This is a tough matchup for her. I don't know what it is that she needs to do, but the Mewtwo is definitely a strong pick. This is why, for the battles, is the Master League Specialist. <laughs> And not either right. by Dragon Breath. Oh! So she's rocking Waterfall, which makes sense. Yeah. Granted, there's an Excadrill, um, there's a Toka Kiss. But I'm uh, gonna stay yeah, in. This... And this is good that her back line is avoiding this. Her, her double steel line mm -hmm. is avoiding the Gyarados. Right. CMP here. Debating okay. whether she wants the shield or not. Let's it go. Def... Doesn't live. Yeah. That's fine. You farm it down with Metagross. And we know how dangerous Metagross is. Uh... Yeah. Oh, did she click on it? Hopefully I hope she, she did gets... not click on it. Hopefully she gets the refund. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you... nice. it, it was there. Yeah. It was like desynced. Then... Right. Oh, man. This is on Aqua Tail. Okay, nice call. Yeah. Now you've got so farm much all energy. The way down. Exactly. And these Meteor Mashes are going to be deadly, uh, no matter who comes in there. So yeah, Dialga. It's Dialga, so, so there's yeah. probably a, either a Togekiss or a Glaceon in the back. Mm -hmm, for sure. Catch? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Was that an extra drill? drill? Yeah. Oh. oh! Okay, they shielded anyway. Oh, they shield anyways. Okay. Two, three, four, five. But this is fine. Oh. Wow, I can't believe that they swapped. Oh, and they didn't even throw the move. The 
sacked the Excadrill, and then just shielded it. I think they wish they should have just let it go, maybe? Peak Good of, shield here. Peak of magic, they've got to throw their drill run there. Um, yeah. Because they were ahead on energy. But now this is this is GG's. It's over. Yeah. Double steal. Oh, OP. man. That was an interesting play that, that Pika Magic swapped and shielded. Uh, because if you were going to swap, you could just swap and not shield and just sack the Excadrill. But yeah, yeah very, very interesting. All right. Mewtwo. I love the Mewtwo versus Togue. Um, okay. Definitely going to significantly outpace this thing. And yeah. honestly, the Psy Strike hits so hard that mm -hmm. you can like almost Psycho Cut down when you land it. Um, yeah, not not the ideal timing. Ooh, right, the, the charm just went through. So she could have done like one more cycle cut and then throw. Debating uh, whether she wants to shield or just take the shield advantage, ancient power. Yeah, you just let it go, I think, and then get a big farm yeah. with X. And now X your drill, guard yeah. chomp is avoiding its hardest counter. Right. Um, unless Pika Magic has Glaceon in the back, then... I doubt it, because really then you just bad. lose to a Metagross lead. Yeah. So if they come in oh, with man. their I own think it's, I think okay. it's Dialga in back. Yeah, it's over. Um, if it is Dialga. Two shield Excadrill. Like, here comes the first. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I would get out, probably. Do no, you? no, no, no. I, I think you just double rock sorry, slide, sorry. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the Garchomp should take out the Excadrill. Oh, she's... She which is anyways okay i guess either works at this point yeah shield here yeah for sure um and then farm all the way down and then throw the earth power into the excadrill very nice match yeah for the battles cruising along gets to the earth power sometimes you don't really want to reveal your uh your move set in this situation but might as well just just take the win um I mean, it's, it's already game two, but uh, right. sometimes you like don't really want to reveal that earth power because they might be thinking Sand Tomb Outrage. Mm -hmm. But as you said, right, like she could change the movesets uh, between every round. V2 yeah, safe swap. Oh, man. They they it's let V2 get such a head start before right. they swap. This is not good for the opponent. Yeah. Mewtwo with the Psycho Cut energy. Uh, energy gain is so quick like you can get to a side strike in what was it four cycle cuts or five i forget uh five cycle cuts per side strike yeah. um yeah this for the battle is definitely going to try and take back switch here if he shields this i do. don't think she'll double shield maybe she will right let's see but i would think save uh you got to save the shield for excadrill in my opinion right yeah. Uh, hmm. Farm down with Excadrill? No, Sylveon. She's trying this to switch okay. right away. Doesn't want to give the opposing Excadrill more farm. Right. The Excadrill does have oh. a bit of energy advantage. Oh, that's not good. What do you do here, Kim? Okay, gonna seal. Does two drill runs might KO? Yeah, but I don't think she... Okay, no extra mud shots. That's really good. Um, she can try to get to this drill run before oh, the, man. but that the opposing extra drill has energy though. Yeah, so it'll take it out, uh, and it'll probably be a matter of whether Sylveon can get to a charge move or not. Yeah, but then with Sylveon's charge moves, those are also resisted, and so might not be able. But to these KO charms this chunk, man. These charms chunk. I don't okay, know if two so drill dazzling... runs KOs. Right. Oh, and they a went for rock slide. What? Oh, they messed up. Go, go for the Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> go oh, for the man. Dazzling Gleam. They're giving Kim the win con. Kim. Another rock slide. You can... Oh, my oh. God. You can do this. You can gets do this. There, gets to the Gleam. <laughs> it's over. It's over. This Dazzling Gleam was going to KO. Let's go, resisted, Kim. Excadrill is super, super squishy. Wow. So oh, my goodness. We see a learning moment there for the opponent. Um, so right. Drill Run being a stab move. It's going to do more damage than, uh... Oh, no! We started over, that's alright. I'll just okay. fast forward. Uh, yeah, so 
uh, to finish your thought, Drill Run is a stab move because of its ground typing with Excadrill. Rock Slide is a rock move, and so you won't get stabbed. And they both cost the same energy, and so you want to throw the move that has the same type attack bonus to get the extra damage. All right. And now we are on to the field specialist for the condensed metas. This is going to be Dungeon Cup, Speediest Chief. May have heard of him. Popular mm -hmm. streamer. Shout out to Speedy. And uh, Timmy, take a look at these teams. Anything jump out to you while I, uh, while I adjust the score? Sure. Okay, so Speediest Chief, running the Mantine, the Ferrothorn, Lapras, Dragalgi, Galvantula, and Gengar. Um, and then... Who's John Gill running the Gengar as well with his wireless? Wormadam, Swampert Venu, and Gyarados. So let's see here. <clears throat> mm. So the Galvantula is pretty strong uh, up against the Gyarados as well as this wireless and, um, and the Venusaur, right? Mm -hmm. The Wormadam on Who's John Gill's side can take out the Dragology and the Gengar, but might have some trouble against the Lapras. Uh, uh, I personally really it's... like Speedy's uh, team comp here versus Who's John Gill. I think the Man team looks really safe. I expect mm -hmm. to see um, Air Slash, Ice Beam, Aerial Ace, and then you've got mm -hmm. coverage against pretty much everything. Um, yeah. The Gal really just needs to watch out for Swampert. And then right. the um, Dragology really just needs to watch out for uh, the Wormadam. Like, lots of Pokemon really only have one or two counters for Speedy. So I like his uh, yeah. chances here. Yeah, especially the Ferrothorn. Like, I think uh, John Gill, like, the hardest counter to Ferrothorn on their team is probably Gengar. Um, or Zwei. Yeah. has. Yeah, like Venusaur has an okay matchup, but like that Verithorn is going to take out the Gyarados, Swampert, and the Zwilus. Mm. Okay, yeah, Man Team Lee. Oh, great lead. Okay. In comes Wing Attack or Bubble? Zwei. Okay, Zwilus. Wing Attack. Gonna stay in uh, for a while because doesn't want to swap into like Dragalgy behind on energy. Right. But it's could go shield. into Galvantula here to avoid the Swampert. So I'm surprised that they are staying in. Yeah, because now the Swampert's a little problematic for your back line. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, the thing is... Oh, like, no! It doesn't do? get there. Oh, that's really bad. Big gamble on Speedius' side. Okay, he comes in and takes a Body Slam, probably. Right, saves the energy. Oh, big shield. Oh, good shield. Good shield. Okay. Uh, he could get to a lunge on the Swampert, so that's really good. Yeah, this is looking tough though for Speedy. Swampert sneaks in a mud shot, so it's got the Hydro already. Um, lunge mm -hmm. coming through. Does some decent damage. If this is running EQ, uh, yeah, this is game. This is game. Oh, man. Gonna spam yeah. up some Aqua Tails, but even two Aqua Tails wouldn't KO from this range. Right. I think he he should have just swapped out immediately, saved the Mantine, right? Um, yeah. And it, like you know, if his Wireless did take out the the, the Galvantula, it would have been fine. I think you swap because... Dragalgy right away into the into the Zway. Um, you swap Dragalgy because it's tankier and it wins out the. Uh, I believe the one and the two shield, because mm -hmm. the dragon tails are doing slightly more over time than the um, dragon breaths. Mm, dragon breath, yeah. So we'll see if Speedy can respond. Same lead. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay. this time yeah, he see. came prepared. He has a Lapras. Okay, he came prepared. And what's uh, funny is Zwei actually wins this matchup in like, oh my gosh, big shield in the dark pulse. Zwei wins yeah. this matchup in. I forget what shield scenario, but uh, because the charge moves aren't really threatening, but does get a shield anyway. Good shield. Um. Oh man, gets both shields. Opponent knows they kind of need switch to have a chance. Right. Oh, Speedy's gonna let it go. 
feels comfortable that the Mantine with an energy and shield advantage should be able to put in work in the back. I like this play here coming in Galvantula because um, it's very squishy and the Mantine uh, with the shield is going to be very advantageous for Speedius. Yeah, throw this lunch here. Oh, no lunch. Okay, that's fine. Bubble Beam. This is okay. Yeah, this is okay. So he bubble beams. Um, the wing attack is neutral because of the steel bug typing. Um, Not gonna and... shield because he knows bug buzz. <laughs> that's that's crazy how little damage yeah. that does. Yeah, after the debuff, it's, it does very little damage. Um, but that's definitely the right move that Wormadam wants to throw because of the potential. Um... Oh man, that's crazy. Oh wow. Oh, he's gonna try and farm down. No, no, he lives. He doesn't need to throw okay. it, right? And like, it doesn't matter if Swamper farms down this Mantine, Gal just throw a lunge at it. Needs to get to two lunges. Okay. Oh man, this is going to be really close. Um, I don't think Swamper gets the two Hydro Cannons and one Volt Switch. Wow. Yeah. Great job, then, Speedy. Well, let's see. The Confusion doesn't KO. Right, yeah. Yeah, very good job. G to the G. So tied up at 1-1, one, one, Speedy, and who's John Gill? Uh, didn't let the same safe swap get him the second time around. Was able to bring the Lapras and more comfortably handle this way. This time leads mm -hmm. it into the Wormadam. Okay. And it's probably going to try and bait out the Swamper. Oh, wow. He's uh, bait, baiting here with lunch. Kind of risky. Well, the thing... Yeah, but I mean, like, the thing is, if he wastes his energy, yeah, then he comes out, right? Oh my gosh, opponent makes a huge mistake here, Matt. Like, Swamper outpaces, so you gotta throw your Hydro right away. Now you're right. debuffed, and you CMP, so you're not gonna get extra farm as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, they undercharge, but they undercharge too and much. Farm down? Because <laughs> they have to throw again but anyway. They, yeah, they have to throw again. Any, what? Why did they undercharge that? They just undercharge it too much. I mean, if they do, right. like, slightly less, it would have been a nice play. Uh, either one is fine. I probably so they haven't revealed the second move set. So coming in Mantine here is really good in case the, the Swamper has an earthquake. Yeah. yeah right. Definitely. Yeah. Right. So definitely has an earthquake. So now they can farm down all the way. So this is really smart of Speedius, right? Um, just yeah. trying to play probability and guess that the Swamper has an earthquake. And then yeah, just bubble beam here. Again, we saw this matchup in the last match. Wormadam has nothing to throw against the Mantine. Oh. And then this wireless. Oh, this is over. I like this bubble bait. beam, this wireless. I like this bait. Yeah. Oh, they called it! Jeez Louise. It, but this is fine. Well, I mean, yeah, it was still good anyways, right? Because now the Dragon Breaths do less damage. And this is where you want um, the play. And so yeah, shielding these. Uh, these are probably like the most hard-hitting moves uh, left in the game. Has and all this so, energy on yeah. Lapras. Surf would KO from this range, so Zway has to shield. Sneaks in an Ice mm -hmm. Shard. Um, it's going to have Ooh. a lot of energy to threaten the Wormadam in the back. Um, not yeah, sure if Wormadam has a Bug Buzz stored. Bug Buzz uh, would close to KO here. Right. Iron Head would definitely not KO. Oh, uh, not quite. Bug Buzz? Not quite either. Yep. And then he throws a Surf, grabs a Shield, switches out, throws an Ice Beam, and wins the game. Or bubble beam. Uh, coming in a little close. <laughs> Very close. Because this won't KO. He's definitely in 25% range. And, uh, oh my god. Okay. A little too Through close here. for comfort. Yeah. But yeah, the Wormadam right. would have gotten wing attack down, so it had to. Uh... <laughs> oh, and Speedy gets to the surf at the last second and closes it out. Nicely done. Overcoming a tough loss game one. Those are always the worst losses when you. Um, when you have a great lead and then you lose. Um, so he was able to put that behind him and win the second two games. And now- Well, this is why he's, this is why he's like the world champ, right? Losing <laughs> yeah. game one, making adjustments and coming back game two and three. Yeah, he's got some experience in uh, high pressure situations. And our next battler, you may have heard of him, Math Magic, rise to occasion. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's you. That's me. It's you. All right. So let's see, what do you have here? Um, 
Okay, Roserade. That's a very interesting choice. What moveset are you running on Roserade? Um, we'll have to see. No, I'm just kidding. I'm running, uh, I, if I remember correctly, Bullet Seed, Weather Ball, Grass Knot. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you got the Steelix, the Flygon, Pelper, and the Registeel. So why, why these two particular Steel types, the Steelix and the Registeel? Um, they're both really good in the meta. Steelix, I've, I brought almost every single week because a lot of people are running double, sometimes even triple dragon. Um, so it's a really hard answer to Zwei. It's a really good answer to Flygon if they're running Dragon Tail and um, Dragalgy as well. So Steelix was a staple for me. My opponent had a tendency to bring two or three dragons and uh, usually his own Steelix as well. And then, mm -hmm. and then Steelix with that crunch coverage also does pretty well against Jellicent. It's a pretty close matchup. So Steelix right. to me was like one of the MVPs of Dungeon Cup. And I brought Red mm -hmm. to Steel as extra steel coverage because they typically would bring multiple dragons. I see. So you're running, so are you, is the Steelix Pulper Reggie, this ABA uh, lineup, is this the first one that you're running into? Yeah, my thought process here was um, Steelix, he doesn't have like a hard answer for it. So I thought it was a really safe lead. Um, mm -hmm. And I thought worst case scenario, like if I lead against a Roserade with that Weather Ball, or I lead against um, a Jelly that could win switch, or Pelipper, I could probably get shield advantage and then right. um, try and use my shield advantage to sweep with, with Pelipper and Reggie in the back. But uh, we'll see how it plays out. Okay. Rise. So let's see here. Thinking yeah, about it. I think. <laughs> also, yeah. shout out to VB. He's a fellow uh, streamer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Steel in the Pelipper. Very nice. Uh, you know, has to watch out for the weather ball, but the dragon tails are definitely adding up here. And gets to the crunch at the same time. Not shielding, interesting, because he lives it, obviously. And throwing the crunch, do not want to throw the double resisted earthquakes. So <laughs> yeah. Throwing this crunch is really good. Tried and, to catch uh, the weather to... ball there, but yeah. wasn't the right. And I really didn't want to have to shield. But I decided right. to shield in case I needed it in back. And um, this is kind of tough. I go up to Hurricane. I'm going to try and bait here with Weather Ball. Mm -hmm. It's a risky bait, but I do get the shield. And at okay. this point, like, I'm just going for chip damage. Um, right. This makes sense. Because you're probably not going to get to the Hurricane and another Weather Ball. Mm -hmm. Right? So you might as well just throw it and chip down. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, see, you need to get to the second weather ball, so this is really good. And then you can chip down here with uh, the Steelix. Ooh, try to catch again. Uh, but then opting to shield, not letting it go. The Steelix is definitely uh, valuable with its crunch ready to go. Uh, Pelipper already threw a weather ball, so it doesn't have any energy left. Okay. And my Patches. opponent made a... An incredible catch. Very and, incredible catch there. And I undercharge it slightly to get one more dragon tail. I like that. Oh! Um, okay. I messed up. That's fine. I messed up. I should, okay. have, I should have thrown the crunch to potentially get the shield. Well, I mean, you're going to get a shield for sure here, right? On this uh, flash cannon. Because this weather ball doesn't KO. This Roserade needs another weather ball. Or it needs another two weather balls. So you throw this flash cannon here, they shield, and then they throw a weather ball and you throw the crunch, right? Doesn't the crunch KO? We'll see, but did I'm, he farm I'm up? I'm guessing the- Did he farm up enough where he has two? Right, he so didn't, here's the first weather ball. But he's stuck in a bullet seed. He oh, snuck in a man. bullet seed. So if this isn't crunch, if this isn't oh. KO, oh man. You know, I, I wanted to, I think the reason I swapped wasn't to like bank it. I think the reason I swapped was because I thought he was going to throw right there and I wasn't going to get off my crunch. I think I tried to catch and uh, unfortunately I ended up giving him the opportunity to farm extra and win versus if I think I, if I, I think if I throw that crunch and I get a shield, I win. But if he no shields, then I lose anyway. Yeah, but I mean like they know that they, uh, that they live the crunch anyways, right? So they probably just don't shield. 
Okay. Tough Going call. into game Tough two. Call. Lost the first one. Yeah. We got Flygon into Peli. Okay. And these so Dragon Tails neutral. will really chunk. Yeah. And you get to the Dragon Claws just as fast as the, the Weather Balls here. I love the hat on the Flygon. I don't know why there's a hat on the Flygon, but... <laughs> Aggressive okay. swap, because uh, Steelix yeah. is pretty safe. Mm -hmm. And I figure I might lure out, like, a Steel counter here, and then Reggie. So I lure out the Rose Arrayed. Okay. That's and now the Registeel design. is going to avoid this thing and back this time. Yeah. Get the defense drop. Very nice. Okay. Very, very nice. Uh, no extra Dragon Tails, which is okay. I let it, it go because I know these yeah. dragon tails from Flygon are going to do a lot, and I have some energy as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shield this, even though it might just be a weather ball. Yeah, but like, I mean, you sneaked in the dragon tail, so this is going to be gone anyways, right? Mm -hmm. It's worth the shield. You have the energy. You can throw the dragon claw into the Pelipper or the Jellicent. There's a jelly, and this is tough. This is obviously a really bad match for Red of Steel. But I switch in because that Dragon Claw puts this thing into double flash cannon range. Mm -hmm. This is a good no shield, even though it is going to be a shadow ball, right? Uh, throw this flash cannon here. Yeah. Chips away, okay. jelly building up. Um, I'm really thinking about it, whether I want to shield or not. I shield the last yeah. second and I. Unfortunately, it's not a bait. And this makes me think maybe they don't even have Bubble Bee. Maybe they're double nuke. Get the shield. I don't catch. But I farm down. Farm down. And they have to throw anyway. Yeah, they have to throw here. Oh, wow. They have an Ice Beam. Yeah, they're not going to make it. Very nice match, Rise. Thank you, thank Very you. Nice match. Yeah, almost got hard countered in back, but um, the chip damage from uh, Flygon and then switching into it at the end ended up being uh, critical there. Yeah. So tied sure. up at one, heading into game number three versus VB. Reggie lead into Rose. Kind of bad, but you can catch a weather ball. It's funny you say that, Math Magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what you do? Because that's I, my that's my thinking. I get you the catch shield, weather ball on the flag on, and then boom, catch boom, the nice weather catch. ball. Okay, okay. I lure out the Good Pelipper, catch. which is great because my Rose Ray is now avoiding this Pelipper in the back. Yeah, yeah. And then if you can grab a shield, right, then your Rose Ray is basically up two shields. I know he didn't have double, so I shield this, hoping one Dragon Tail KOs. It does. Mm -hmm. That's good. What's going to come in? It's going to be the rose again. It's going to be something else. Yeah. If, it's the rose. If you can grab this last shield. Yeah. Grab this last shield here. You live this. Right. I shielded last second. It was actually a grass knot. Oh, that okay. So that's a good shield. KO'd, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Get off the move. Two. Three, and he four. makes a nice catch, but it's on a fly gun. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if that was a good catch Ooh. for them. So I swap Ooh. right away because I think okay. bullet seed plus weather ball should be enough. Yeah, for and sure. I over farm a little bit because I wasn't too afraid of a dragon claw. Right. I He's sneak one more in. Afraid of this weather ball. So I have the weather ball loaded. Just under tap rise. You have the game. Uh oh, over tap. No. Oh, still got anyways. there. <laughs> oh man, you almost. Oh man. Oh my gosh. What a game. Uh. Almost cost me there at the rise. end. Yeah. Just <laughs> under tap. <laughs> so oh, that puts man. us at uh, ten five. Okay. And now we've Good got job. the the one and only Ali Lucky next up. Mm. And. Uh, I'll get rid of my graphic, show Allie's, and yeah, now we transition to, to Nightfall Cup, which is nice. a much more condensed meta where you see a lot of the same Pokemon kind of over and over. Right, yeah, we can see that 
There's the Venu, the Alola Ninetales, and the Stunfisk, and the Medi, right? The only key differences is Ali's bringing in the Frostass and the Glade, whereas uh, her opponent is bringing in Golbat and Swampert. Uh, it looks like the Glade has a very, very strong advantage uh, with the confusion against the Venusaur and the Golbat and the Leaf Blade against the Swampert. Uh, and then even though they have the same typings as uh, Metacham and Gallade, Gallade has actually probably a stronger preference because of the Leaf Blade and the Confusions, uh, whereas the Metacham only has Counter and Ice Punch, right? Uh, Gallade is very squishy, but I think Ali has a very considerable, yeah, a very considerable team to, to win the games here. Mm -hmm. I, uh... I like the Venusaur for Ali. It really just has the Golbat to look out for, and Golbat's kind of hard to bring if you're Steph, because Galay Confusion, Ice with Frostlass. Most most Nine Tails do run Charm, so the Golbat's probably not too afraid of the Nine Tails. Um, mm -hmm. And but the G Fisk obviously, so it's got three pretty hard counters, and Venusaur is really only scared of the uh, of the Golbat. So we'll see what Ali decides to run. Right. Here we go. Oh, great lead. Okay, this is fantastic. <clears throat> Let's go. Comes in the Golbat, and then comes in the Frostlass. Yep. Interesting that she is decided to come in Frost instead of Jeefus. So maybe she's expecting uh, like a Charmer in back? Uh, probably, but I, I still would have gone into Frostlass as well. Um, mainly because... Like, you know, G-Fisk up a shield can take out the other G-Fisk, right? And so you don't need to shield these Poison Fangs, and you're going to grab either the second shield or um, wow, okay. or win Switch. So opponent yeah. gets Switch, but, she, but she's up uh, she's up both shields. Now do you, right. do you so much you, shot down? You, exactly. Yeah, you just much shot down, right? And you have all this energy here. You can shield the potential Shadow Ball if you think it is the Shadow just Ball. Gonna let it she go. shield. Oh my god, they baited. Exactly, right? Ali is really good at this uh, <laughs> catches the poison game. Fang. And catches the poison fang! Wow, Ali. I don't know oh. if I like that catch, though. Okay, no, oh! This is fine. This is totally fine. You psychic here, right? Yeah, she's got this. This is easy collapse. Yeah, yeah she can shield here, throw the psychic, and she has energy on the oh. Stunfisk, so this is pretty much game over. Not sure why she's ice oh, punching. Oh, she throws... Okay, throws the ice punch. Um, oh! I know what she's doing. She's trying to not reveal all of her movesets. She doesn't want to reveal that she has Pup. Oh. She's right? probably Psychic, though. Yeah, yeah. But she doesn't want to reveal that she might have the potential Psychic. I um, see. Until later. Oh, my. Yeah. So that's really smart of her. That's super Coming smart. In, yeah, throwing in the Earthquake here. Three, four, five. Yeah. Opponents uh, win con it. Oh, but yeah, shield of the earthquake. Yeah, nice job not just throwing right away. Right. And then, yep, nice, very nice job. And then you can basically double rock side here. So, yeah. uh, but, so what I was saying earlier, right? Now that she only showed Ice Punch on the Metacham, she might be baiting the opponent to thinking that the Frost Lass is safe, right? Because mm -hmm. it's probably just Ice Punch and um, Power Up Punch instead of Ice Punch Psychic. Um, and so, if I was Ali, I'd probably expect the Alolan Ninetales to come in, and then prepare for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice game one win. Ali up 1-0, game two. And with that first win, Ali got 11 points, so Mazer has already sealed the deal in terms of the overall matchup. But uh, still going. Yeah. So you saw the lead there was <laughs> nine tails, right? This is exactly what Ali wanted to bring in the nine tails. Yeah, and then here, right? This process is basically going to go to town on this Metachan. Wow, this is so smart of her. I can't believe she did that on the fly. It was really, really smart of her to bait in the nine tails. And... Oh, it's side kicked. Okay, but now it just charms down. down. Exactly. And then up a shield as well. Uh, oh, Powder Snow, okay. Okay, that's fine too. So we know it's Pup, Psychic, and they're already pupped up once, right? Mm -hmm. And they pup again. 
Uh, very nice. Throwing in the weather ball. Uh, if they shield, she can throw again. They don't. The only loose con at this point would be if Swampert's in the back. Um, right. But G Fist does, once the Medi's out of the way, does well against everything except for Swampert. It's their own G Fisk. Okay. This is totally fine. Up a shield. Should be in a pretty good spot. Wants to force it to expend energy. Oh, tried to catch. Uh, mm. Yeah, not sure. I think I, I like would have waited. Play. Yeah. I guess yeah. you still have so... both shields. Ooh, bait. It's just a baiting game at this point. But um Ally could potentially just double shield and double earthquake. Yeah, just needs to call this correctly. It is the earthquake, so she should be fine now. Okay, good. In comes A9. Uh, yeah. And yeah, potential charm right there. Charm plus weather wow. ball will be a little scary. Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll get this thing low. Oh, okay. But now the opposing like G-Fisk probably outpaces her to the earthquake. Are you sure? She has three mud shots in. Four, five, six, oh, seven, never mind. eight. There you go. G to the G, Ally Lucky. Game number nice. two win. Very nice. Yeah, that was that was unbelievably smart of her to bait in the nine tails for game two, just by revealing that Medicham only has Ice Punch. For sure. Yeah. Okay, so what can we expect for game three? Um, Steph is probably trying to figure out. Uh, a way to get rid of Stunfisk early. Okay, so Mirror Stunfisk, nice. Always um, a tricky Mirror. Yeah. I So because Ali has two Ice types in the back, she should try to not catch in case the Mirror baits. Uh, yeah, in case the opposing Stunfisk baits. So she goes straight for the Earthquake. Uh, she, oh, Earthquake again, right? Yeah, they're both going straight okay. for the Quakes. She wins CMP, so that's really oh, good. Oh, lands one. That's huge. Mm. Potentially just shield and farm down here. Yeah. Unless sure. this is a rock slide. Nope, earthquake. And you still have Ooh, so much huge. health here. Yeah, huge earthquake. So quick swap into frost to not let this many like farm down. Yeah. And the opponent's but not a psychic even doesn't switching. KO. Yeah, the psychic doesn't KO. An a pup psychic does KO. Okay. Yeah. This is exactly what she wanted. She's got the game. Yeah, exactly. Um, she just needs to grab a shield at some point, which the, the Stunfist will grab a shield. And then the Ninetales can get to the Dazzling Gleam on the Metacham, and that's pretty much game over. A really good understanding here, I think this is something like people that are learning PvP struggle with, is mm -hmm. when to swap out and give up Switch. And this is like a textbook mm -hmm. situation of like, when Ali like knew it was the right play to swap out and give up switch because she needed to preserve that stun fisk for uh, the nine tails and back, so she lured, she swapped into frost, she lured out the nine tails, and then had her stun fisk to take out the nine tails, and then her own nine tails to uh, take out this medi here. Um, yeah, yeah, it's gonna go for well, weather ball. Not even, yeah, well, I mean, like it's not even that, right? It's like, uh, like, sorry, it's like a little bit more than that. Like she in the back, she had two counters to Medicham, whether or not Medicham had a shield. Um, and so just preserving the Stunfus and not letting it get uh, countered down or not letting the Medicham ramp up its attack with Pup, just switch out and force the Medicham to switch or take its last shield, right? And so I think at that point, Ali had a really good understanding that I got to give up switch and preserve the, the Stunfus because I have two counters in the back. Nicely done, 3-0 from Ali Lucky and another player you may have heard of, Math Magic, mm -hmm. Dune Bug, oh, 97. Really? Do one, do one bug? Do one yeah, bug. I've heard of him. <laughs> Season three, Sylph World Champion, uh, coming in with a Nightfall Specialist. So let's see, pretty much the same team as Ali. Is that right? Or is there I think a so. difference? I think the same team. Same team? Okay. And then Legendary move coming in with a Wiggly. Uh, to counter the Glade and the Metacham. Uh, Articuno is an interesting pick. 
can take out the Venusaur. Possibly with the shield, it can take out the Swampert. Uh, but knowing Dunebug, he's going to say Frostlass as um, a closer. Yeah. Right? And probably have Venusaur and Swampert uh, put on shield pressure against Legendary. I think Venusaur looks amazing again. It's really just the Articuno yeah. you're worried about. Because even Frostlass, if shields are up, Venusaur is going to get to those frenzies at the same time as the Avalanche. And if you sneak in a Vine Whip or a start ahead, it's not a bad matchup at all for Venu. So this is a good lead yeah. for Gallade. Um, mm -hmm. Going to resist the counters. And you're only really threatened by the Psychic, which takes Medi a little while to get to. Opponent makes a nice catch here, catching the Leaf Blade oh. on the Articuno, but you've got a, uh, a really hard response to this Articuno in your G-Fisk. Interesting that he doesn't swap out uh, quickly. Um... He's trying to uh, build up the energy again on the Gallade and also the Confusion damage, right? So even though this is going to be a double debuff Rock Slide, it's still double super effective. So they kind of almost cancel each other out at that point. And this is like a neutral, almost a neutral Rock Slide. And he gets a huge farm. So now, assuming the Medi comes in, um, he'll be able to get to Earthquake here because he farmed yeah. up so much. And even though it's double debuffed, I mean, this is still going to do some nice damage. Boom. Takes out a big Ooh. chunk. And has yeah. a move loaded. So he knows he wins CMP. Throws the Leaf Blade right there. This is going to draw a shield for sure. And Frostlass up shields is yikes for the opponent. So he's yeah. just going to throw so this grabbing... Leaf Blade. Yeah. Exactly. Grab a shield here and then switch out. Double shield his own Frostlass and oh win the game. Oh, no shield. Okay, opponent that's fine. Shielding. Now he can... I just commit but the fast here, Yeah, at least here he can just go straight fro uh fro his frost can just go straight avalanche. Or just powder snow down? Yeah. Oh yeah. man. Yeah, you weren't even gonna get to three charge moves by the time you powder snow down, so Dune recognized That's true. as he calls the Dune Con, just fast move down that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dune really liked this meta. He liked um he liked the safety because it's a meta nightfall where like energy and shield advantage is is absolutely huge. Um, mm -hmm. Like you don't switch isn't as important with a lot of these Pokemon like Frostlass and Medi. They're so versatile. G Fisk with its hard hitting Earthquake to still like threaten Medi a little bit. Um, energy and shield advantage is absolutely huge, and that's why Dune liked this uh, nightfall meta so much. Like yeah, I can definitely moves. see. Yeah, I can definitely see. Um, you know, with Doombug's playstyle, right, having the energy advantage and like the nukes, just grabbing a shield and saving the Frostlass is going to be really good. Pretty neutral so, matchup here. I'll be in, be interested to see how Dune likes to play this out. Yeah, it's a good shield. Uh, shield the Hydro Cannon, and same concept, right? You either have the Frostlass with a shield, or you have Swampert with a shield, and um, and basically you're going to win a game here. Gets a shield back, is going to let this Hydro Cannon go through this time. Almost mm -hmm. has a move definitely. here. Can definitely oh, opponent tries it. to catch, unsuccessful. Throws the Avalanche. Um, I feel like it would have been kind of nice to uh, to just save that here? Yeah. and come in g -Pisk, but he's going to get well, a huge here... farm here. Exactly. Here, right, like, now he doesn't have to throw the Earthquake. He can just farm up to 100, throw the Rock Slide, and get to another... Ooh. <laughs> Perfect farm down. What? An oh amazing play. Gosh. Oh, my god. Because he knows that... Oh, because he knows that the Swamp oh, has energy. Oh, let's do the Oh, my god. Yeah, he knows the Swamper has energy, so he doesn't want to risk the, the, like, being farmed and not having the Earthquake ready right and now he's in a great spot to over i uh, gets rid of the venu and now swampert's like okay. all right i'm free yeah except um because two hydros will well, ko and his opponent's up a shield so this is still a little bit scary yeah but the process is like one or two powder snows away from um an avalanche so it should be okay the only thing is uh yeah like you live this but you might not get to this hydro cannon here perfect yeah this one's gonna ko but this but the Swapper is now out of energy, right? So this Frostlass can get to the uh, get to the Avalanche. 
It's only like two powder stones away. Yeah, good call. Yep. One, two. Yep. Still had enough Very health nice. where I was able to live yeah. a few mud shots. And yeah. boom. Welcome to the fro zone. Frostlass says. <laughs> and do Very nice. up 2 0. Oh, and this is the last battle of the bout for the 16 nice. 5 for a. For a dominant 11 point double digit victory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really nice here. Um, let's see, Venusaur, okay, Articuno. Bad, bad Not lead. great lead. Bad, very bad Frost lead. safe swap. Oh my god. Okay. The opponent was very slow there. I can understand yeah. if they're like instant, but man, being that slow, Dune. He knows already. He knows he, he wins switch here easy. Just can play, yeah, play out because... the two shield if he needs to. And then you've got Fisk on uh, Articuno. This is GG's. <laughs> I'll just double shield here. Get to the double uh, avalanche. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. He knows. He knows. This is going to KO. <laughs> oh, gets one extra bubbles. powder snow. Gets one extra powder snow because of it. Did he calculate that? Or what did he... How did he do that? I mean, yeah. Like, I, there's no way... Did he know that he was going to get an extra powder snow there? He, that's what he was trying to do, yeah. Oh, my God. That was what nasty. Genius. That was nasty. Oh, my God. Oh, and catches the high speed. <laughs> Bro, dude, <laughs> flexing on him. Oh my he god. Two, he has two frenzies ready to go, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, he just needs to grab a shield here, throw the sludge into the Articuno, and this is game over. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, you animal. Yeah, there's a reason this guy is the best there there is right now. Yeah, throws PvP. this rock slide. It's gonna, oh man, a frenzy will definitely KO. This Articuno needs to go up to two icy wins, one for the yeah, um, he's, he's got Gunfisk this, and yeah. one, yeah, it's over. Just frenzy right away, don't give it a chance. And uh, yeah. then the, the Wigglytuff is so low. Oh my goodness. Wow, just wow. Those were, uh, those were very fun, so that, that concludes things, and uh, Mazer Gaming with a 16 to 5 win over Verified 50 Club. Um, so in Sylph Factions, there's Diamond Tier, which is the highest tier, Gold Tier, uh, or sorry, Diamond, Platinum, Gold, Silver, Bronze, and then Open and Qualifying. So Mazer, based off the preseason, we, we kind of underachieved based off our standards. We weren't very happy with how we performed and we placed in the silver tier based off of qualifying. Um, so we like, we're, we're pretty serious about this. We wanted to make a statement and we end up going seven and zero in silver tier um, by a pretty wide margin and, uh, and promoting ourselves into gold tier for this upcoming cycle. We really want to uh, do the same. No signs of looking back. We've also got some new faces, new additions that we're excited that we're gonna be announcing soon coming to the team. Um, so excited for that some names that you guys will, will recognize for sure. And uh, yeah, I just am looking forward to more Sil Factions. And uh, one more shout out to Mathmagic10 for coming on here with me and shoutcasting these battles. Mathmagic, where can uh, where can people find you? Uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter or Twitch at uh, Mathmagic10. And you know, thank you Rise for having me. Uh, happy to shoutcast these battles, happy to see them. And I'm so proud of our team to be doing well and getting into the gold tier. And I'm happy to, uh, well, I can't wait uh, for, you know, our new members to get announced and, you know, then, you know, we start practicing. We have like two more weeks of off time left, right? And then, mm -hmm. uh, and then the next cycle starts. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. So it'll be great. Different type of content from, from me from us at Mazer. I hope you guys enjoyed. Long video, probably not gonna get very many views because it's over an hour long, but if you did stick here to the end, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe, I very much appreciate it. All that said, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.